In the last tutorial, we took a look at widgets and functions that we could add to our WordPress. These include things like sidebar widgets that we've added over here, sidebar main, sidebar extra that we added a little text to, and even our footer information. We skipped the modules because eh, we don't really need those right now. Anyway, um, we're going to look at something else that we can do in this next tutorial. And instead of adding widgets, which are really something that is pervasive through the entire website, we're going to add something that is really pertaining to the individual page or post that we're on. And those are called custom fields. So I'm going to come and enable the custom fields um, template the new theme that I have for custom temp fields. I'm going to go to the pages and go to products. Now one of those page custom fields is something that we set up in our functions file. If I go back to my functions here, um, and that's as simple as this, the theme support post thumbnails. That's something that we do on this particular page. So I could set the featured image and choose one. I'm not going to right now because instead I'm going to do that image using a custom field instead. So in order to see custom fields, we need to go to our screen options and bring up our custom fields. Then I can go down to the bottom and you'll see the custom fields are here. Now I'm going to create a custom field called custom image and I need to put a value into that to save it. And I've already uploaded the screenshot that I have here. So let me come in here and, and save that and add that custom field and you'll see that goes up above and I've got a custom field. Now what we need to do is look at using that custom field. So I'm going to go to back to my folder here, um, custom fields, here's my index file, and let's take a look at some of the ways that these custom fields can be used. The first thing that we can do is get all of the metadata for custom fields, and that's just the meta. That's as easy as it is. Now that could not, is not really too common because if you have more custom fields, you can get a lot more stuff outputting than you really want. So oftentimes we try and limit it to just the custom field that we want. For example, here I can say image source, get the custom image, and I, I have it called custom IMG. So I didn't name that incorrect IMG. I better update that, make sure that that is correct. So custom image is what I've got there, and it says go ahead and echo that. This one here does a little bit differently. This one says let's find out if that custom field exists, and if it does exist, then output it, and if it doesn't exist, don't. Um, and we're going to come back to this other one here in just a second. So let's try that and just see what happens. We've got our page, so let's view it and see if we get an image. We do, in fact. Now you'll notice that I'm actually getting um, here is text, here is the image, and here's another one where I'm getting the text as well. So um, we do kind of need to see what the differences are here. You'll see in the first one, which is getting all of the common values, it just outputs a list of the values themselves. And it's actually showing me that the value for custom image is that. And it's giving me outputting the value. In the next one, we found out if we could display an image. Ooh, look at that. There's one there that is missing. This one is correct based on custom image value if it exists. Dun, dun, dun. Let's figure out what we did wrong here. It's always fun to figure out what we did wrong. It says image source, get post metadata, ID, custom IMG, um, don't see what I did wrong there but somehow I made a mistake oh it's probably that I'm just doing echo dump -ba -ba, echo get post data so I left one little bit bit out and it doesn't work so this is why you always have to have samples of the do work so let's see if we can get the correct field now dun -da -dun. yep we are indeed getting that output now and the last one here, if I can take a look at this last one, 
Da -da. There it is. That one is based upon a functions file. So let's take a look at what that's happening. What's happening there? I've got a new file in here called functions, and it has this great little function. And what this function does is basically the exact same thing that I just had: the get post metadata, and then it echoes that post metadata, which is exactly the little part that I had forgotten off of my code, and um, what this does is run that query so all I have to do is put in just the simplest amount of code or the simplest code let me see if I can find that thing here it is right there get custom field custom image false or I could do um, true I don't know if that's gonna really make a difference because it's just outputting the same exact thing of course what I would need to do is I would need to wrap this around my image tag. So I would do it just like I do it here. Image source, and then I would finish that image. Now I'd save that, go back, and you'll see that I will actually output an actual image now, the normal way that it's supposed to be done. So the cool thing about whoops the cool thing about using this particular function is that it really looks nice when you say get custom field instead of get post meta or echo get post meta post id custom image whatever so i just really like this particular uh, function because it makes it really easy now you can actually get multiple values as well and loop through them which i think is kind of cool for example, if we had a bunch of slides, I could grab bunches of them and add multiple ones. For example, let's go ahead and change this on our page. So I'm going to call this slide. And I'm going to add another one. Oh, slide. I'm going to add the same thing. And I'm going to add another one. Slide. So now I've got three slides. And let's see if we get some output from that. Now you'll see that I'm outputting all three slides in that one thing. Let's take a look. Oops. I'm actually not outputting my multiple values here. Let's see. I probably have slides versus slide. Ah, slide. Let's see. Dun -ba -dun. Ah, now I'm getting it. Got to make sure they match. So now I'm actually outputting all three of those as a bunch of lists. So it's very cool that what you can do because you can have either a single or you can have multiple custom fields on that page and you can do a lot with custom fields. It's one of my favorite features of WordPress and um, really gives you a lot of flexibility. Now the question is how do you do more with it? Now you can create your own custom like WordPress custom field editors on a page for example, on this particular site I found, um, you would bring this in and pull it into your functions file, and this is going to make things go a little crazy, but I'm going to just save it anyway and see what happens. When I go to my page and I refresh, you'll see at the bottom I actually now have an editor for that particular custom field. Now, instead of not being able to see all the rest of my custom fields, which I don't really like about this particular editor, um, I tend to like to add custom fields by using plugins. So I've searched for some plugins for it and I've found that there's lots of different plugins for doing these. Um, one of my favorite one is the advanced custom fields ones. Advanced custom fields and this particular plugin is just awesome. Can't beat it for what it can do. And Look at that, 813 people gave it um, five stars so you know it's a good product and it works quite well but of course there are other ones that work very well as, as well 
I'm just not a big fan of adding them to my big functions file because it makes things go a little haywire and I can't override the functions or the um, custom fields that are there if I can't see them. So I tend to not do that because I think it, it adds some problems with the page. But you know now I can see my custom fields and of course you might have it so that client cannot see the custom fields but they might see um, an editor if you're using something like advanced custom fields. Anyway, that's a quick introduction to custom fields. Um, in the next tutorial we're going to go on and we're going to do a little bit more with uh, custom templates.